looking good. It is not looking good. We need the next. Let's go, Zay! A kick one against the point. It's back to three points. First semi-final I've experienced as a full-blown adult. I'm terrified, I'm scared, I'm nervous, I'm excited. It's just a whole concoction of emotions all at once. It's ridiculous. It is a packed MCG. The pubs were packed. The bars at the ground have been packed. Uh, the folks have run out. They look ready to go both sides. This is Fever Pitch. We're used to the 110 on a Sunday, and now we're prime time on a Friday night. The whole storyline of the team that can't, surely they can't lose straight sets twice in a row up against a fairy tale team that was in the bottom four halfway through the season. I don't know what energy will prevail, but what I do know for a fact is that there will be one goal in it with about five minutes to go. I agree with you, and I reckon the team that's up by a goal with five minutes to go will kick clear. I'm going to tip the D's by 20. I know that it will be an arm wrestle and it might come down to a kick like it has the previous matches that we've played. But I get the feeling one team will crack and I'm hoping it's the D's that can get over the line. What is your prediction? I'm going the Blues by four points and Matt Kennedy to kick a bag of jump. Kicks off. Fever pitch atmosphere, 90,000 on the day on a Friday. I'm shitting myself. <laughs> oh, this is epic. This is amazing. One of our teams are going to get knocked out. Semi finals. Road prediction Gorn wins the hit out, but we win the clear to get it in front 50. We need to start well. We cannot start slow. Go on, the Bangers! So loud. Ed Langdon kicks the first of the game. There was an advantage call. I don't know what the free was for, but um, it was an ambitious to take the advantage given last week he butchered it. So the D's are on the board early, but pretty even contest to start. Come on, boy! Three players with ball in hand up both ends. Um, D's defending really strongly. The pressure on the ball is insane and Petrarca puts through our third. We've got a bit of a gap now. And all of a sudden, the Blues get two on the board very, very quickly to Cody, getting on the end of a couple. We did flag in that AFL YouTube video where we gave our predictions who'd be the one that comes out of the ground and surprises us all. I did pick to Cody. I feel like it's his time to stand up tonight. Quarter time here in the MCG, and the D's lead by seven points. Jeez, I don't know, we, we dominated that first 20 minutes, they got a couple late. Josh Smith had a shot of goal, they got reversed because Cosie pushed McGovern in the chest. And then they got a free when De Koning got blocked out of the contest, but I thought Lever got blocked out of that contest as well. Uh, Tomlinson needs a little bit more composure, but a terrific start. It's what we can ask for, it's all we can ask for after last week's performance, and hopefully we can continue it on. But when the Blues got it humming there, it was quite obvious. So I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, it's too easy. Three in a row to the Blues. Not lock strolls in, uncontested. And kicks the easiest goal you'll see in a semi-final this whole weekend. Joel Smith and Alex Neil Bullen kick two in a row for the D's. We're back up by two. We've quelled the momentum for now. They've reviewed it. And they reckon it's touched. Time here at the G and the D's <laughs> trail by two points. It has been a seesawing affair. Um, the third quarter has just started, but it's been a seesawing affair. We're kicking inaccurately. It's almost all our nightmares have begun. Hopefully, in this third quarter, we can crawl our way back and get some ascendancy, but it's not looking good. Come on, Dan. Kennedy kicks truly and extends the lead to eight points. He's my boy, the nuclear bomb. I call him the nuke because he can do it all. 
He can get win the contest. He can mark. He can kick goals as he did just then. Come on. Not looking good. Miss. The points. Come on. Sudden Cosy kick. It seems like our most likely target. We've kicked to him twice going inside 50. Joel Smith marks. I thought he should have gone the snap kick. But he goes back and kicks his third. Joel Smith has kicked three. Frida kicks one against the tide. We're down by point. My head feels like it's going to explode. My brain's throbbing. It's all it's all happening. I'm not sure we've got the momentum, but we got one against the tide and it's back down to a point. Come on, boys. This is a massive clearance. Ozzy stays in the play. Kicks his first for the night. And we're finally back in front. It's been an arm wrestle. Water term by the Melbourne Footy Club. Three good time. I think we're trailing at halftime. Yeah, by one or two. And now we're up by a kick at three quarter time. It has been a grind, it's been an arm wrestle. We I'm running with the logic, you're up at quarter time, Dragon? we're up at half time, you're up at three quarter time by goal. Surely that means at the final quarter. The Blues come back. The Blues come back. Well, I have no doubt that they're gonna have an absolute dip in it in this last term. It, it goes by how the last few games between our teams has gone. Um, it's almost the first team to 60 wins. We said that 60 to 66 was the prediction. We're only seven points away, so a, a goal or two early here could put it within depth. What's interesting is both of us are such heavy defensive teams. We rely so much on our defensive lineups, but if one of us is more likely to be Carlton now, a down by three goals or four goals, no, nothing to lose. Quarter, we just play, and then it puts the structures in question. So we'll see later this quarter what both of these teams are all about. This has been a ridiculous game, an absolute arm wrestle, a coin flip. I don't know what's going to happen from here, but I can't believe our teams. There's nothing between us. Three quarter time of the semi final in front of 95 this. Go, no save! Come on! This is exactly what happened last time we played them. They kicked three in the first two minutes. Maddo is lining up for their second. And just like that, we've popped up. We've popped up the lead. Yes, Cozzy! That play was sensational. Cozzy Pickett gets his second, and it's back to all square. 8 11 to 9 5. 450 stoppage. Cozzy was on the move, gave it to Fritta. We never score from those. That is unbelievable. Out to a seven point lead. 10 minutes into the last, you feel like there's another swing in the momentum to come. But it's a handy start in this last quarter. Come on, boys. They kick one against the tide. It's back to three points. They called it deliberate on Petrarca. How long ago? I don't know if it was there, but they've gone forward and kicked one. Motlop's kicked two. It's back to three points game with six minutes to go. We said 60 to 66 at the start of the game. It's 66 to 69. We also said with five minutes to go, it'll be anyone's game. There's about five minutes left, and you can guarantee it's anyone's game. I'm shitting myself. 96,000 at the MCG. This is the biggest crowd I've ever been a part of. Clayton Oliver's taking his 430. He'll drop it in the hole, you assume. He's going to have to kick 54 metres. Oh my god, that is right on the line. <laughs> <laughs> Umpire. Touch. And they're going to bring it back down and keep the goal and win the game. You're watching it. Oh my god. Sees it on the line. They got it wrong last time.
season done and dusted and to be honest potentially one of my last game day vlogs I might bring them out for the bigger games next year but I'm not going to do them as regularly so what a way to bow out I thought um the perfect way to to hang up the the game day vlogs might have been a flag but that happened to be in WA so um yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them next year, but let's just uh, talk about that right here, right now. Connor Rogers, how are you feeling, mate? You asked us to do a thumbnail at three-quarter time. One of me all happy is if we won, one all <laughs> shattered is if we lost. When I did the one as if we won, I felt like I was lying. I knew deep in my heart, I'm like, this is for nothing, we may as well not take it. <laughs> and at the final siren, when we, well, not even, before the final siren, when Akers kicked that goal, in yeah. my heart, I failed to believe it. I felt like you were the better team all day. I just didn't see it coming. <laughs> it wasn't one where I believed, and I thought, come on, boys, we win this. Good on you, boys. It was more one where I was just waiting for you guys to win it. So to pinch it at the death, I couldn't believe it. I've never felt that way in my life. Mate, it was incredible. The scenes were unbelievable. Go, the baggers! Get on you lads. Um, yeah, I, the whole game I never felt like we were going to win. <laughs> Our story, it feels like the fairy tale and it feels like one where Brisbane could be the better team for most of the game next week, but somehow, some way, we undeservingly pitch in and it happens the next week. I'm not saying I think that'll happen, but I'm saying the script is there to be written. Let's finish the story, Carlton. That would be absurd. The Blues are on an absolute tear and a half for the Ds. I think it's key forward time. Maybe that's petty, um, but I think it's just all chips in on a key forward. I think we've got to improve. I, I think, um, what what is it? Uh, progress isn't isn't uh, linear. Linear. Progress isn't linear. We've clearly got to get better. I think I'll wrap it up here, Rog. It's been an amazing season. I'm going to go hide in my little bunker. For Love you dearly, Dosso. Go the Blues. I'll be whipping them home next week. I appreciate that, mate. <laughs>